Hey guys, it's Alicia. Today I have another what's for lunch video for you. Now, this is the second one of these I've done. The first one I thought was pretty fun. And if you're anything like me, lunches are kind of one of those meals that's hard for me to come up with ideas for. And so I thought I would show you some of the things that I've been eating and hopefully that would be helpful to you. Kind of give you some ideas if you're struggling with ideas yourself. The ingredients and instructions for all of these lunches will be down in the description box below, except for the one that I already have a video on and I will link the video for that one down below also. This first one is a longtime favorite of mine. I've been making this for years and years, probably since way back when I very, very first started doing Weight Watchers. And it's just kind of a burrito bake, I guess you would call it. And it starts off with a pound of a lean ground turkey, and I'm gonna just cook that. I've got a little bit of olive oil in that pan, just a couple little spritzes of it, just so that turkey doesn't stick to the bottom of the pan because it is fairly lean ground turkey. And then I'm gonna just add in some chopped red onions. I've got my heat on medium high and I'm gonna just cook the two of these together until that meat is browned and those onions are softened. And while the turkey and onions are cooking, I'm gonna go ahead and take some reduced fat bisquick, which is what that is. And I'm gonna add some water to it. And I'm also gonna add a can of fat-free refried beans to this. And then I'm going to just mix all of this together real well. And this is what it should look like. So now I'm gonna take a 13 by nine inch casserole dish and I've spread it with a little cooking spray and I'm gonna just spread that mixture on the bottom of this casserole dish and set that aside. Once that ground turkey is fully cooked, I went ahead and added in a can of this diced tomatoes with green chilies, just kind of a generic rotel. And then I also added in a little bit of this McCormick taco seasoning. And so now I'm gonna just mix all this up real well, turn off the heat and set this aside. Now I'm gonna take that meat mixture and I'm gonna evenly spread that over on the top of the Bisquick mixture. And once I've done that, I'm gonna add a little bit of 50% reduced fat cheese. This is like a Mexican cheese blend. And I'm gonna spread that over the top. Followed by some part skim mozzarella. And I'm gonna take this and I'm gonna bake it in my oven at 350 for about 30 minutes until all that cheese is nice and melted. And this is what it looks like after it's baked for 30 minutes. And here's a serving of that, which is one sixth. And it is 10 points on all three colors. I top mine with just a little bit of fat-free Greek yogurt and that's zero points for that amount. And then I also just put a few green onions on top too. But this is really good stuff. Like I said, I've been making this for years. It's great for lunch and it's also great for dinner. I've had it both times. So good stuff, definitely recommend it. And just 10 points. Next up is another recipe that I've been making for years and I get this one from my mom. And I've actually just recently realized it's pretty Weight Watcher friendly. And that is for cottage cheese pancakes. Now. I guess you could say this is more of a breakfast item, but I intermittent fast and so I don't do breakfast. So a lot of the times I like my first meal of the day or my lunch to be kind of breakfast-like. And so this works really, really well for me for a lunch. So you're just gonna start off with a blender and I've put some cottage cheese in there and now I'm putting my eggs in. Next up, I'm gonna add some flour to this and I'm only using about a quarter of a cup and that's mainly just to keep the points low on this. You can add more if you want to make the batter a little thicker. The quarter cup yields kind of a really runny batter. It's almost crepe-like, but I actually like that. Um, but if you want a thicker batter, 
closer to an actual pancake batter, you're gonna wanna use more flour. But again, that's gonna increase the points. So I just keep it at the quarter cup and have like a crepe-like batter. So now I'm just gonna blend that all together and that is all there is to these. So now I'm gonna cook these on this pancake griddle here. And this was not the best choice for these, to be completely honest, because it was way too flat for that runny batter. But I went ahead and just sprayed it with a little cooking spray. And now I'm gonna just pour the batter on here. And like I said, this gave me <laughs> a little bit of trouble because that batter, as you can see, is really, really runny. And it wanted to kind of just run right off of this griddle. So I would definitely suggest making these in like a frying pan where it's kind of more self-contained and just cook them individually. Um, I was trying to avoid cooking them individually by using this and it worked, but I had to kind of hold that griddle up to keep that batter from running off until it got a little bit more set. But basically you're just going to cook these until you start to see little bubbles forming and actually the top will kind of almost look dry. And then at that point, you're gonna flip them. And once you flip them, you're just gonna cook them on the other side for probably just another minute or so. Not a very long time because these are really pretty thin. And then at that point, they are done. And here is my lunch. Now I'm having three of these and there I'm just showing you kind of how thin they are. They definitely are thin, like I said, but I like them like that. So I'm having three and I'm topping them with some frozen blueberries, raspberries, and blackberries. And those berries are zero points. You could add syrup, but that's gonna add points. And then I'm also having a light and fit Greek yogurt here in the toasted coconut vanilla flavor, which is my favorite. And that is two points for that. So the points on these pancakes for the green plan are three points a piece or with the strange Weight Watcher math, eight points for three of them. Now on the blue and green, they are one point a piece. And with Weight Watcher math, four points for three of them. So my lunch total with eight points for the pancakes and two points for the Greek yogurt was 10 points. And the blue and green would be six points for this lunch but I absolutely love these pancakes. They are straight out of my childhood and they are just very, very delicious. Next up, I am making some tuna melts and I'm just gonna start with some of this non-fat plain Greek yogurt that I absolutely love. Now I'm using this instead of mayo. And so I'm gonna be using a couple tablespoons of this and that is zero points for a couple tablespoons. And next, I'm gonna be using some of this Chicken of the Sea solid white albacore tuna. That is two points for that whole can, and it is zero points on the blue and purple plan. So two points on the green, which is what I am on. Okay, so next I'm using a little bit of this sweet relish. This is a point for about a tablespoon of it. And then of course, I have to add a little granulated garlic. I love garlic in all its different forms. So add a little bit of this in here for seasoning. And then I'm gonna add some green onions. You could also use red onions, yellow onions, whatever type of onions you want, or no onions if you don't like onions. I also love onions, so I'm usually putting them in pretty much everything that I can. So I started mixing this up and I realized I had forgotten the mustard. So I go ahead and add a little mustard to this. You could use just the regular like I'm using here. You could also use Dijon or again, if you don't like mustard, you don't have to use any at all. So I added that and I'm gonna just stir all that up. So I've got two English muffins on a cookie sheet here and I'm just using these Thomas 100 calorie ones, multigrain. They are three points a piece or five for the two. Now I've seen English muffins that are lower in points, but um, these ones, they're pretty good. So that's what I'm using. And I'm gonna just take that tuna mixture and I'm gonna spread that as evenly as I can on these four halves of the muffins. Now I'm gonna take some tomato slices and I'm gonna just lay those on top. 
And then I'm gonna take a little bit of this 50% reduced fat cheese blend, and I'm gonna sprinkle that on top. Now I'm gonna put these in the oven and broil them for about one to two minutes until that cheese is melted. Here they are done. I'm gonna have two of those, and that is six points on the green plan for two, and it is five points on the blue and purple plan for two. I'm also gonna have some chips with these, and I like to weigh out my chips. Actually, I like to weigh out almost everything just to make sure it's accurate. And these are the chips that I'm gonna be having, these Popcorners Flex Protein Crisps in barbecue flavor. And these are very, very good. And for a serving, it is just two points on all three plants. So for two points, I think these are a very, very nice little snack or kind of a side with lunch. And the serving size is pretty decent for two points as far as I'm concerned. I'm also gonna have one of these Sargento light string cheese sticks. These are also very, very good and kind of one of our go-tos. And those are just one point a piece. And I'm gonna have a banana because I usually like to have fruit with my lunch and that is zero points. So at six points for the tuna melts, two points for the chips, one point for the string cheese, and zero points for the banana. This is a nine point lunch on the green plan. It is a eight point lunch on the blue and purple because those tuna melts are one point less. So those are just some things that I've been eating on my WW. I hope maybe this gave you guys some lunch ideas. I hope you enjoyed this video. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you on the next one.